Hello everybody, this is Nia Boaz Filer. I'm here with a weekly astrological message. Until the 12th of May, this corona time made me move the days that I take out my videos. So now I'm trying to do it, uh, you know, as early or as like do it midweek, midweek instead of on the weekends. So this is up to Tuesday the 12th. Um... Today, the 5th of May, it's a very special day in the sky. We have a superior conjunction of Mercury and the Sun. It's like a full Mercury, like a full Moon. It's the peaking of the cycle of Mercury and the Sun. It's a culmination time of everything that began in the middle of the retrograde with the new Mercurial cycle, just as Corona started to spread. Mercury is about navigation, commerce, logistics, our thoughts, our words, our communication. So there's a lot of things we haven't taken care of, a lot of logistics that remain dormant for that time, a lot of navigation that was lacking, that now funnels forth, you know, with force. And it could be a bit overwhelming. But these days, the 5th and the 6th as well, are good days to visualize and plan how you would like the next month and a half to look as this is brought to a close, as this cycle is brought to a close. How would you like to culminate it all? How would you like to summarize it all for the next month and a half? What are the logistics needed? What is the navigation needed? What is the information needed? What is the communication needed? Um, the sixth is a bit dramatic. There is a lot of squares in the sky between the moon and Jupiter and Saturn and Pluto. And then the moon opposes Uranus. I would say, as, and, 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 and it does a trine to, to Mars that only, you know, energizes things there a bit more um so watch your temper watch it not not being too dramatic is a key point not being obsessive about things letting know how to cut things loose and how to let uh, let go and compromise is important um the seventh is the energy peak of this week energies are building up to the seventh it's the last super moon of 2020 it's in the 17th degree of the sign of Scorpio. And it, it is talking about the culmination of transformation of emotional, spiritual, uh, um, on a soul level developmental uh, um, transcendence after working with our fears, our negativity, doing some shadow work. So the world society ourselves we have been involved in a lot of shadow work over the last four months <clears throat> and this is a time that can truly be the culmination of that a lot of things that were undercover pluto scorpio can come up to the surface and them resurfacing them uh, showing up their true colors it has a transformative effect on us as human beings as society as a, a personal people i was talking about in the last two videos that this is a time of revelations of finding things that were hidden and 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 um that were uh, tried to be uh, dissolved and we can see a lot of leaders and governments uh, standing uh, um, or answering a lot of criticism regarding the way that they handled the situation or, or still handle it. And more of this is going to come out. We can see the cover up with China. We can see all of kinds of conspiracy theories that I personally don't buy into. Um, we, but we have to differentiate, you know, the wrongdoing 
and the changes that need to occur because you realize that we've been wrong from things that are not real you know and remember agent Mulder I think his name was <laughs> Scully and Mulder from the X-Files one thing I learned from the X-Files is that the best place to place a lie is between two truths. Take two things that are evidently true that you can corroborate and 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 neatly place a lie within them, between them. And people will just make it a bridge between these two truths. So be careful what you believe, people, because I hear a lot of far-fetched theories. And you know what these theories do? They actually take away the focus from the things that need to be done. And they make you seem irrelevant and, and not in touch with reality to other people who are a bit more sensible. So really check your information, people. Nevertheless, I'm coming back to this week. You know, make sure your information is credible. Uh, coming back to this week, a lot of revelations, a lot of things coming up to the surface on the weekend and through next week as well. Um, about public uh, administration, about hospitals, about leaders, about um, things that were hidden, you know. And we can see that... Um, the 8th is a good day, basically, and it's a good day to take things forward with work as well, uh, if you are working on Friday. And the Saturday, the 9th, Mercury trines Pluto a day later, it trines Jupiter, more of that energy revealing. And because of the, of the, uh, um, the unveiling, we can finally understand what is there behind the veil we can finally let it drip down into our consciousness and and actually trickle down and change things you know and change things over time all these uh, uh, new understandings and wisdoms actually cause us to change as well not only as persons but as a society um sunday is a good time for deals so is monday um but sunday astrologically is even better it has a lot of energy and as i said mercury is shrining jupiter monday the 11th saturn is going to go into retrograde movement and when saturn is in retrograde movement everything concerning career hierarchy the system laws works a little differently we can see that the system itself would not function <coughs> as well uh, while uh, uh, Saturn is in retrograde everything becomes a little more sensitive and more apt to disruption the consensual how you say it in English everything that is under consensus belongs to Saturn and that becomes less obvious too and Mercury is going to square Mars on Monday. That means that that energy that calls us to go outside and speak up and fight for what is right is heightening. And we can see more people going out to the street. We can see the frustration growing stronger. We really need to make sure that in our personal lives we're not using forceful words or being violent in the way we interact with others. Um, Mercury is going to move on the 12th, Tuesday, into Gemini for the next few weeks. The pace is heightened. Everything moves faster. And the 12th itself is an intense day. Don't be compulsive. Learn to let go. Learn to settle for things and negotiate and, 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 and compromise. Um, and in the evening time, Eastern European time, Mercury trines Saturn. It's a good time to sign deals. Um, it's a good time to finalize things, to set them in stone, and to actually introduce them into the daily level of things, into the schedule. 
So if you still want to enjoy the 40% off that I have, it's going to go up. It's not going to go up completely. I've decided, I want to share with you, I've decided, first of all, you know, because I took 40% uh, off, because I believe everybody should, you know, every, every each and every one of us, because this is not the same world, and we are much more communal, we are much more um, socialistic, you could say. The capitalist fear-mongering that was here before lost its charm. So I've decided that prices are not going to go up completely because we're not going back to the old world. I'm going to take them half up by 20% only. So they're still going to be 20% lower than they were before COVID-19. But if you still want to enjoy the 40% off, you better do it through this week on all courses and readings. From next week onwards, it's going to be only 20% off. And you could still enjoy that. I want to thank you for sharing these videos, for commenting on them, and for helping the message get spread. Remember to be who you are. Don't be afraid to show your lights, your true lights. The world needs you more than ever. May you live long and prosper. Bye-bye.